Okay, here we go again. Hi guys, welcome to another Urban Viking Ale review with me, Dave. Um, I apologise for the hardware, I'm using a little Fuji camera until I decide to get, well, until I hopefully get a new camera. Um, hello cat, uh, my cat's just entered the kitchen. I do believe he's now about to drop his guts, which is great because I'm... Hello? I'm in the middle of a review here. That's alright, you crack on. Okay, well the cat's gonna let oh. the cat's gonna let one go whilst I do my review. Yeah, that's lovely. I can see mm. it's like car crash syndrome, isn't it? You don't wanna look at it, but it's right there. Okay. Cheers for that Oaks. Oh, round two. Oh, <laughs> you couldn't time this, could you? <laughs> oh, lugs! That stinks. Sorry, hang on, back in a sec. Right. Sorry about that, guys. I've had to move rooms. God. You know what? It's been one of them days today. I've been. I've had. Sorry, hang on one sec. I've got to close that door. Okay. That cat, he's, 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 a, he's a spawn of Satan, I'm telling you. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this review. Oh, right, let's soldier on. Okay. Anyway, yeah, rubbish day at work, come home, cat stinking. First bottle of beer I opened went everywhere because I dropped it. You know, what could go wrong? Um, next one is one of our Marks and Spencer's beers. It's a London Porter. Um, sorry. Okay. Using seven malts to create a historic recipe from 1750. A sweetish caramel flavor followed by a smoky maltness with an essence of cat shit. Okay, let's get this one going. Oh. Plain black cat. Sorry, Albano Rhino. I know you hate them. Okay, I'm going to be using my um, green room hours pint glass. Okay, let's get this going. Oh, I'll tell you what, I hate cats. I really do. It's my mate's cat, not, not really mine, but, you know, I'll put up with it. Right, okay, let's give this a sniff. <laughs> let's try and give this a sniff. Ah, oh, luckily enough, it's killing the, um, the ambient smell. Right. Yeah, straight away, um, chocolate, it smells very much like the, um, it smells very, very similar to the Exmoor Beast, um, slightly metallic again, hmm, what else is that, no, not the cat's arse, I mean something else. Um, almost like um, a treacle, treacly toffee, treacle toffee, like the old stuff. Right, let's go. I took a big gulp of that because I'm really thirsty. That's nice. That's really nice. Um, I suppose it's your typical porter really. You've got the caramel in there. Slight bit of chocolate. Um, not too much coffee. Um, uh, slight metallic twang. Um, which I tend to find, I'll get, I, t I tend to get that flavour a lot with porters. Um, maybe I'm just not getting the right ones. It's slightly watery. I do prefer it when it's a bit 
you know, meatier, but I think there's only about a couple of quid, so it's not too bad. Hmm. It's very smooth, not not too much carbonation. Let's see if I can pick up any more flavours. No, I'm just getting coffee now. Very, mm, that is really slight. Almost like a slight sort of um, a rubbery sort of smell. That's strange. It's definitely not the glass. That's weird. There's not. It's, you can't taste that. Um, yeah, it's just. Um, I'm, I'm supposing this is just an, a good all-round porter. Like I say, I'm not. I'm not a massive expert on porters. I like the look of them. I'm not a big fan of coffee and the roasted malt, so I really shouldn't be going near them. But you know, I like to try everything really. Um, like the albino rhino does, he tends to try a lot of the crap stuff, and you know, and so does beer goggles Terry. He'll get some of the bargain stuff and give that a go because you know it's out there, so give it a go. It's not all about getting, you know. A, you know these limited edition brews that were you know probably only 19 of them ever made brewed for 400 years in a septic tank in Whitstable upon Pratt or something I don't know you know you, you need to try the stuff that's out there as well the crap and the good because you'll never appreciate the good until you drink the crap so anyway Urban Viking Hour Review sorry about all the stuff at the beginning I was having a really crap night and tall. I've had this and this has cheered me up a bit so <sighs> lovely cheers take care and I hope to see you again soon why am I getting sweet corn okay see you later bye